There doesn't have What are we going to do today? Do you want to mow the lawn? Yeah. Do you want to plant sweet potatoes? Yeah. Do you want to go feed the chickens? Yeah. All right. Mom, anything else we should do today? No, you got it. Welcome to a boring day in the life on a homestead. Usually on this channel we like to show some of the more interesting things that we're doing, some of the more highlights I guess if you will, but today we're just going to show you what a normal day in the life kind of looks like. Nothing fancy, nothing super special, but some of the chores, some of the activities that we need to get done for the year, for the spring garden, and we're going to first start planting the sweet potatoes. Alright, it's a little bit overdue, but we're going to plant our sweet potatoes today in the cold frame. And we have not touched this box since last year, so it's kind of a mess. So we're going to mend the soil before we plant them here. can you do? Can you get it? Good job, buddy. <laughs> you want your hand on it? Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Look at you go. Look at you go. Good job, big fella. Is that so? Wow, I didn't know that. So, if you plant the sweet potatoes in here, they'll grow really large? What, oh, you asked what this is? This is called a cold frame. Yeah, so you use a cold frame on heat-loving plants, plants that like a warm and... I know, it's exciting stuff. But you use it on plants that like a warm and moist environment. Like sweet potatoes, exactly. So we started these sweet potato slips in probably January, and this is what they look like at this point. Um, so we just need to separate the actual separate slips and then plant them. Behind me is our garden shed, and yesterday we got new patio furniture. Not patio, garden furniture, because we're in the garden. And we need to clean out the shed because we have extra chairs and cushions and stuff, and it's just a disaster. And it's always good to start the year off right with a clean space. So the plan is we're gonna take everything out, we're gonna sweep out the dust and wood chips and whatever else the mice have probably made a home in. And we're gonna clean that out, we're gonna organize it, we're gonna throw stuff out that we don't need, and that way we'll have a nice fresh start to the year. Super fun, super fun, I love it. I love cleaning out the garden shed. It's like literally my favorite thing ever.
All right, so we're making good progress on the shed. The problem is there's so many hornets. They, there's like a bunch of hornets nests in there and I've already gone through the multiple stinging operation when we put the chicken coop up. Insert clip here. Well, it just happened. Right in the ear, got stung. Whoa. Forget how bad it hurts. And then it just, yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna go ice this. And I don't wanna go through that again. So we're gonna let them like air out, get out of here, and then we're gonna finish cleaning this up. But yeah, so far it's going about as expected. Look at this. Found a little bird's nest in here. Huh. All right, we got it done, completely cleaned up and everything is back and in a spot. It's actually, everything has a spot now, which is great. So on this side, we have a catch-all. It's kind of like a miscellaneous area. We have a, a box full of miscellaneous garden things. We have the big box, which is the chairs for the garden. And then we have the tomato cages, a couple trellises. And then at the bottom is our containers that we grow and start our seeds in. And then on the other side, we have like our tall tools, shovels, rakes, stuff like that, the fencing, and landscape fabric that we have. So it looks much better than it was. And this is like two years overdue probably since the last time we took everything out and cleaned it out, but everything gets done eventually. All, right, all you fruit tree experts, I need your help. We have a pear tree here and we're debating if we should prune off this giant branch that's grown. Let me see if I can get a better angle here. But essentially the main trunk or the main branch, main tree, I guess, is growing, but there's this offshoot that is growing exponentially. And we're not sure if we should cut the main branch off, the original branch, and let that be the, or let the other branch be the one that shoots up and, and gets all the energy, or if we should cut the larger offshoot and let the original tree kind of just grow naturally decisions it's always i hate pruning because it always feels like a waste you know it's like you get this big bush or big tree that's doing really well and then you have to trim it back so that it grows the roots grow better and blah 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 blah. and yeah i don't like trimming trees but if you do have a answer should we keep the main tree or should we keep the offshoot that is much larger now than the main tree thank you all right before we move on to the next thing we're gonna have some lunch i have some pasta aglioli oliolio. No clue how to say it or spell it. This is how you spell it. Um, but it's like a like a parsley and garlic and like uh, olive oil and it is it looks a lot better than it tastes. And no, I didn't mean to say it tastes a lot better than it looks. It looks a lot better than it tastes. I made it with like a chickpea pasta last night. And um, yeah. Like a four out of ten, at best. So uh, we don't want to waste it though. So I'm gonna have this, and then we're gonna move on to every dad's favorite weekend activity: mowing the lawn. All right, it's time for the best part of the day. And that's a wrap on the day. It's pretty simple, pretty basic, nothing crazy. And I think the reason that I wanted to show that, just kind of film this day in the life, this 
simple, boring day in the life is this is kind of what most days are like out here. I think it's really easy, and, and we're guilty of it 100%. I think it's really easy to film the, the fun, highlight reel parts, um, but we're not building a garden every day. We're not building a chicken coop. We're not planting the garden for the first time, you know, uh, first time of the year every day. And so showing the simple things, showing the mundane, hopefully gives a perspective on, on what the... Uh, this quote-unquote simple life is that we're striving for. Today was fantastic. I mean, we got a few chores kind of checked off and then we just hung out. Hung out with Gus, hung out with each other, we put our phones away for the day, and we just enjoyed the peace and the quiet and we enjoyed the, the homestead.